Today we're going to take you with us to see one of the most spectacular marine drives in the world. Hidden between mountains and two oceans, a drive through the very edge of Africa, where we will meet some of its cutest residents we've been dreaming of seeing since we were kids. But there's like six or seven animals that I've never seen in my life. So let's explore what makes South Africa so special. So we've been driving for just 15 minutes and we already stopped at our first spot because we saw this absolutely gorgeous white sand beach with a stunning backdrop. And these mountains are actually called the Twelve Apostles and they form the back of Table Mountain which is one of the main attractions here in Cape Town. To be honest here, like almost right away you understand why so many people choose to come to Cape Town because there is this atmosphere, this vibe, people just chilling on the beach, playing with their dogs, playing volleyball. There is this lovely promenade where people run. Also in the promenade there's lots of coffee shops that are facing the ocean and considering that Cape Town is home to over 70 beaches and it's sunny almost all year round, no wonder people call this paradise. So we're still trying to catch this first impression of Cape Town, but so far the people seem very friendly, everybody's waving, and right now a guy just came over out of nowhere and asked us if we were travelers. We said yeah, so he recommended us a bunch of places like a chocolate place and a secret gin bar. Everybody's very friendly here. Also here there's a lot of rock pools and one we're next to is a very famous one for photo shoot. And I know people say that if you meet the sunset here, you'll never ever want to miss another sunset in your life. I do understand why they say it, because it's absolutely gorgeous here. Like, um, wow. <laughs> Unfortunately, we had accident recently, so it's quite hard for me to walk. I'm limping, so I guess walking on the rocks is not our option yeah. today. But we'll just keep driving. Right there behind me is the start of the most beautiful drive in all of Cape Town and then we're going to do that next but first we decided to stop at this little place called Hout Bay and it's this, it used to be an old fishing village inside it there's a lot of fishing boats and it feels like a really local place because there's lots of kids jumping into the water from the pier there's lots of them on the beach it definitely feels like a different place than the last one This place is also famous for having some seals and you can rent a kayak and go out there looking for them but actually if you look close enough you'll find one. There's one right behind me. It's so cute. They're sleeping. Tanning in the sun. It's the first time I see a seal in my life. It's so big I thought they're much smaller but it's probably heavy too. It's so cute, it's bubbly. Here you see locals just swimming around and over there, there's seals just going up and down. Seems like the locals are okay with swimming with the seals and Looks they're like you're pretty scary. safe here. They're not scared at all. <laughs> Woo! <Ooh. Got> <laughs> scared him. So we thought we'd get uh, breakfast here because it's a harbor, so they have to have really good seafood. However, there's a line which is at least one hour long. So we decided to do the second best option and buy bananas. Always dream to have bananas in Africa, no? They is the same as anywhere else. <laughs> and from this bay, that's one of the most spectacular drives in Cape Town, which is called Chapman's Peak Drive. It's a nine kilometer route with 114 curves, revealing the most stunning panoramic views of the Atlantic Ocean and the mountains. So this is a Toro, so it does have a little bit of cost. This one about three dollars, three dollars, for our most beautiful drive in Cape Town. I think it's totally worth it. It is so, so beautiful. You know, 
over the last five years, we've done a lot of these drives that are called the most beautiful drives in the world. But I think it's safe to say that this one is top on our list. So Ernesto loves mountains and I'm obsessed with the ocean. And to be honest, it's very nice to find a spot where you don't have to compromise because Cape Town has it all. <laughs> We're so lucky to have seen so many beautiful places around the world. So now we're becoming very cautious when, when we say this is the most beautiful place on earth. But Cape Town, I think it's captured our hearts from the first day. We should say from the first drive. Yeah. <laughs> And in the end of this absolutely breathtaking drive, we found another beautiful spot. It's like non-stop in Cape Town, every five minutes something. But this is definitely one of the most beautiful beaches we've seen. We just have to see it. Look. Look. making it up. <laughs> but there's even a better beach, a place that could be called one of the most unique beaches in all of Cape Town because it's one of the only places in the world we can get up close and personal with African penguins. <gasps> in the bushes, he's hiding. Nobody sees him. So a lot of people are just rushing to the beach because that's where the penguins are supposed to be. But however, if you look close enough, they're everywhere. There's some uh, penguins digging in the dirt, making some nests. There's penguins hiding in the bushes. They're literally everywhere. So don't need to rush to the beach. Just look around and enjoy. It's so amazing. They're so cute. Look at how adorable these ones are. <laughs> they're everywhere. You have to go through these bushes and here you have to pay close attention because here they're nesting. So they build the penguins these little homes and they're like nests because there's penguins inside of them and this one stood up and there was like a little egg inside it so he's just laying under the egg and warming it up for whenever they're gonna have a baby. It's so cute. But most of them are not in the bushes, they're at the beach. That's where we are now. So many of them on the beach. Look! I swear it's like 100 here. Wow. They're everywhere. <laughs> They're actually much more cuter than I imagined them. And the most adorable part about them, I think, is their walk. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's like bosses in a whole fucking town. Go for a dip. So their walk is actually comical just on land. When they get to water, they can go up to 20 kilometers per hour. I think that's quite impressive for such little things. Penguins are also known as jackass penguins. That's because of the sound that they make. It sounds like a donkey. <laughs> you know, this is absolutely unbelievable because ever since I was a kid, I dreamed to see penguins. They were my favorite animal. But living in Lithuania, I thought I will never get to see this. I'll never get to happen. But here I am, sharing someone with my love. <laughs> so glad to be here. It's definitely one of the most unique experiences here in Cape Town and I would say it's worth to come to Cape Town because of that. And another good thing about the Penguin Beach is that it is located just a few minutes from another attraction on the Cape Town Peninsula Drive. This is Simonstown, which used to be a significant South African Navy base and you can still see some of its ships docked in the harbor. But I think the most unique thing about this town is that it is home to a legendary dog, Jess Nguyen's, who is the only dog to be officially enlisted in the Royal Navy. The other great thing about this town is that it has a lot of restaurants and coffee shops with a beautiful waterfront. And we've been driving all day, so I'm absolutely starving. And to our surprise, this food portions are huge. Oh my God, it's so big. There is no way I can eat it by myself. I'll help. No way, no way, really. <laughs> <laughs> You know how much wine do they pour in Europe? Like a little bit, yeah? This is the amount they pour in South Africa. Like, 
I swear he would pour more. He just couldn't feed them all. <laughs> I mean, this is ridiculous. This is crazy. Look at this. You know, Cape Town keeps on surprising us because we just got the bill and for the two meals and two glasses of wine, we just had to pay $13. That is quite cheap in my opinion. But anyways, we have one more stuff to go. So let's get going. Yes. Thank you. Bye. So we are on our way to the last stop and we just had to stop randomly because on the side of the road there's those things. Oyster just I think or I don't know what they're called, but we're in Africa and we've never seen so many wildlife animals in our lives. There's more of them there. I don't know if you can see them, but right there in the bushes, there's just a head poking them. I've just noticed a whole island of sea lions there. That's why people come here. Oh, this is amazing! <laughs> <laughs> and when we think that it can't get any better and any more wild, Look what we just saw. There are dozens and dozens of them in front of our car. We can't go any faster. Surprisingly, their butts are not as red as I thought they would be. How many animals did you see today? I don't know, at least like six or seven animals that I've never seen in my life. This is Africa. It's wild. There's a mama with a baby. <gasps> He's just carrying, it's so cute. The babies are tiny. Oh, look, three baby uh -huh. babies. Oh my god, so many babies. Welcome to Africa. Just another typical day in Africa. Baboons eating in the trees. What a baby. Baboon. 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 Imagine if that's your Airbnb. <laughs> Have fun. Like, I'm surprised they're not aggressive at all. Like, they're there. I'm recording here and, and it's nothing. And we have banana in the car. Banana? <laughs> banana? <laughs> okay, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Close the window. <laughs> no, they're not aggressive at all. It's because they didn't have a banana. <laughs> Here we are at Cape of Good Hope, one of the most beautiful parts of South Africa. And a lot of people come up here to climb the cliffs. We can't do that at the moment, but to go up there, you get to see the most southern point of South Africa. Technically, the most southern point of Africa, where two oceans, Indian and Atlantic meet, is a few kilometers from here. <laughs> Anyways, this is the furthest south we've ever traveled to, and I think that's pretty incredible. Technically, I agree, yes. There you go. <laughs> so is it worth to come to Cape Town for this drive? If you want some amazing scenery. It is so, so beautiful here. It really is. Get memories of a lifetime and fulfill your childhood dreams? Cape Town is a place for you. And now we're off to exploring the rest of Cape Town. And we hope to see you there.